Hi folks, we're going to take a look at number 6a from page 233. So they're asking us to find the exact value of uh, sine of 13 pi over 12. So first thing I notice is that 13 pi over 12 is not itself a special angle. Uh, but the idea here is to relate it to some of our special angles and likely using uh, a sum or a difference so that we can apply our sum in different ident uh, difference identities. Okay, so uh, when I try to determine... Uh, special angles that are going to add or subtract to 13 pi over 12, I try to work with the same denominators I have here. So I'm not going to think of pi over 6. I'm going to think of 2 pi over 12. And I'm going to think of 3 pi over 12 and 4 pi over 12. So these are our basic special angles, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. But clearly, no two of these are going to add up to 13. So I'm going to have to keep going. Uh, so I guess I have 6 pi over 12, which is pi over 2. I don't think that's going to help, but we'll just write it down there. And so we can keep going. We can do 8 pi over 12, which is 2 pi over 3. Again, no combination is going to be 13. But once I go to 9 pi over 12, which is 3 pi over 4, I see that 9 and 4 give me 13. So that would work. In fact, if I go to the next one, which is 10 pi over 12, which is the same as 5 pi over 6, I say, hey, this combination could also work. 5 pi over 6 and pi over 4. Okay, so either of these will do the trick. So I might as well use the first one that I uh, found there. So I'm going to take sine of 13 pi over 12, and I'm just going to rewrite it. So notice here, I'm not actually changing the value, I'm just changing the form. I'm just going to rewrite that as 4 pi over 12 plus 9 pi over 12. In other words, uh, pi over 3, okay, plus, and this here is 3 pi over 4. All right, and now that I have this format, I can use my new identity. So let's go, it's a sine of the first angle. So sine of pi over three times cos of the second angle. So cos of three pi over four. Okay, then it's plus. So with sine, the sine stays the same. Maybe that's a way of remembering that. With cosine, it's always the opposite. Okay, so now I've got cosine of the first times sine of the second. Okay, so try to start figuring out a way to remember this um, relationship. All right, and now from here, I can just calculate these trig ratios of special angles. And you're going to see me usually do this, is make a couple of diagrams to help me along the way. So let's start with pi over 3. Pi over 3 is 1, 2, root 3, with the 1 on the x value. And then I've got 3 pi over 4, which is going to be in the second quadrant. Okay, and there's my 1, 1, root 2 triangle, but the x value is negative 1. So I'll just put it right on my diagram. So now I can just read off these trig ratios from my diagrams. Okay, so sine of pi over 3 is just root 3 over 2. Okay, cos of 3 pi over 4 is just negative 1 over root 2. Okay, cos of pi over 3, 1 over 2. And then sine of 3 pi over 4 is just 1 over root 2. And now I can just simplify this here. So this is going to be negative root 3 uh, over 2 root 2 and plus 1 over 2 root 2. We already have the same denominator, so I can just go ahead and add. So here, instead of writing negative 3 plus 1, I'll just write it as 1 minus negative 3. Same thing, over 2 root 2. And there's my answer. And like I said, I'm perfectly happy to accept this answer. Or if we want to go on and rationalize the denominator, just multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 2. So this will just be square root of 2 minus root 2 times root 3 is root 6 over 2 times root 2 squared is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And there's my final answer. Okay, don't have my calculator here with me, but if you wanted to check your answer, just stick in sine of 13 pi over 12, see what that uh, approximation gives you, and then approximate this thing here, and I think you'll find they're exactly the same. Okay, so just to recap here, when you're being asked to find the exact value of a sine ratio uh, for an angle that's not a special angle, the idea is to try to identify this as some combination of your uh, basic special angles. Okay, that's it for this one.